guys, my name is Jobat. Um, welcome back. Um, last time we made the Beethoven bass. Um, this time I want to make another bass, and this time I'm just gonna copy it. Well, um, I'm gonna turn it off. Um, it's just an F again. Thing is, um, you know, to give you guys the the basics of how to make a bass. I'm uh, gonna go to initialize and then we're gonna make the bass from scratch. So there's nothing on, just one uh, oscillator, which you want. Um, then basically we're gonna make a bit of a softer bass this time. We're gonna have to set it in a, a wave. Uh, you can turn all those down, stereo, yeah, doesn't really matter, but it just needs to be down. You just need one uh, voice anyway. Uh, phase down, D2 down, no stereo, just centered, of course. Uh, this is all what you want. We're gonna put a filter on it. And this filter is gonna, oh, why doesn't it want to work? What's happening with the filter? Yeah, there you go. Uh, we're gonna have a, a low pass, of course. No drive, uh, we wanna have a clean bass, 24 dB. This means uh, basically how steep the filtering is gonna be. So this is gonna be a little bit softer. Um, then the cutoff, um, I think I usually, you know, you could put it quite low. Um, EQ, we're gonna leave that for now. We're just gonna have a clean, uh, clean bass. Bit of compression, or actually just like give it quite some compression, four to one. Um, threshold can be, uh, you know, no, I'm actually gonna leave it there, why not? Um, very fast attack. And also, um, you know, again, make sure that this is on 10 milliseconds, as I mentioned before. Uh, 10 milliseconds is about how long one step takes. It's exactly, actually. Just that's why it's handy. And 138, you will have exactly 10 milliseconds. It's going to be different uh, depending on how fast you want it. If you want to have it like a 180 with high tech or whatever, it's going to be obviously be quicker. So then it's going to be 8 milliseconds. So keep this in mind for your settings for compression and uh, and your uh, limiters and stuff that it's gonna be you know basically there you know you wanna have a, the volume all the way up you don't want to have a wow that punches uh, then we're gonna have a little bit just like a little bit of attack and a little bit of uh, uh, release so it doesn't uh, isn't really clicky and then we're gonna have full sustain this is pretty much a very standard bass uh, no decay it's not necessary and then we're gonna turn on the cutoff a gonna give it a little bit of uh, you know uh, vo volume that it works and then just a little bit of uh, decay and what this is gonna do as I explained in the previous video it's just gonna quickly open up the uh, cutoff really quickly uh, at the start of every note and this makes it that it could just comes true better and what we don't want to do more is uh, velocity basically controlling the volume and then basically, uh, if if you turn it this way, it will basically make everything uh, louder. That is set louder here. So if I put it like this, it's gonna be the first uh, one is gonna be softer, and then the second one is gonna be louder. Which you want, and then you can do it a bit like this, you know, depending on how you want. Just can mess around, uh, give it a bit of detail, and then you can put a portamento on it, and this uh, basically makes it uh, go. Um, you know that you have the bendy note but we're gonna see how it sounds now so as you hear it was quite filtered so we want to have it a bit more and we're gonna show you now the bendy note so we're gonna do this and one we want to have it go up so and we want to have it more hear it so you know you can do it much more extreme Vroom, you know that kind of thing and you can make all kinds of cool things there's a lot of fiddling around but you know you can make your bass so much more expressive and this is basically as simple as a bass can get you can obviously do the same trick as i did before um, we already did it it's in f so it doesn't really matter it's uh, already um you know the settings for this is already uh, basically set right that the kick and bass basically create space for each other now another thing that you can do is uh, give also space for the kick and the kick usually um, sits 
where did I put the super key from? Uh, let's see. Clicked it away. Uh, so it's going to be in 43 hertz. So what we're going to do is give it a bit of a boost, the kick, in 43 hertz. <coughs> this gives the kick a little bit more power. And you can also just like add later by ear, you know, like uh, add a bit here at the top, you know, like it's just like keep the kick a bit more expressive. You know, that's now a bit more uh, high frequencies as you can see. You can do it also in, in tune, you know, not really necessary with the higher ones. Just a little bit more space to work with because it's not that, that uh, you know, detailed and stuff. So 2800. So we're going to set it around 2800, which is really close already where I had it. Just a lucky guess, I guess. Yeah, and then, you know, this is going to be a little bit more punchy in the lower, in the high end. And then in the bass, oh, shit. Not the growth speed. We don't want that. We want to have a cut in 43. Just a really tiny one, because obviously we don't want to ruin the bass. You know, you can also make the settings different. Just half a dB. Uh, maybe a bit more. So one dB. You can also just, you know, um, increase this frequency in the bass and then uh, lower it in the in the kick. It really depends. Just, you know, try out things and see how it works. And then uh, you can see how it sounds now. I'm just going to delete this because it's not going to sound that well. Obviously, we need to spend a bit more time on it, but they're pretty fat already, and that's it. So, um, well, uh, that was it. Basically, the really basics of uh, yeah, of of the kick and bass. Um, this really should help you out to understand how kicks and basses work, and uh, this definitely should uh, allow you to create uh, you know good bass lines for your uh, sideline track. So that was it for uh, this video. Next video, uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to make uh, a nice crispy uh, hi-hat, or uh, sorry, hi-hat uh, snare. And we're also going to do percussion. And then uh, I'm going to show you guys a few techniques, you know, a few trips, uh, tricks and stuff, how to make uh, hats more expressive and also uh, all other kinds of cool effects and stuff. So uh, stay tuned. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.